Recently, I was working on a new track, and I wanted to play around with a toy harp that I have. The harp that I have is the first act lap harp. And this harp is really fun to play with, especially because you get these cool pitch changes that you can get if you press down on the different parts of the harp. Well, the problem with this harp is it went out of tune very quickly, like within a few minutes. And it was driving me crazy retuning the thing. So I spent an hour or so just recording the different sounds that I got out of it and then building a new instrument rack from it that I could use in my own production. And that is what made this Aqua Toy Harp instrument rack. And now when I can play it, I get a very realistic, interesting sound out of the instrument. It's very velocity sensitive and all sorts of different things have been made within this instrument to make it very realistic. So now let's look at the toy harp instrument rack. Well, within it, I have a few different things here. I have effects like chorus. Then I have my attack and release of the sound, as well as different reverb settings and volume and velocity. But one of the most interesting one is this sample one here. To really illustrate that, let's open up further what the instrument is. So let's go up here. Now I'm playing a note, and you'll see that I have all these different chains which represent different samplers. Well, on this first chain, these first few that are red, that represents a hard velocity. Now right now we're looking at the velocity zone editor. And if I hit a hard note, you notice that it plays this sample. If I play a medium, playing this sample, which is a little bit of a softer recording, and then really light, I play this one. That way we have different samples for different velocities of which we press our keys, our instrument, making a much more realistic sounding instrument. So currently, if I'm playing, I am just hearing the single pluck over the different types of velocity. Whatever the velocity are, that's the, the pluck sound that we're hearing. But down here, I have two different versions of these samples. So if I change this sample knob, I go over to my key, my chain editor here, it's changing what chains we're listening to. So here, we're listening to all three hard, medium, and soft velocity. But then if we move it, we get into this different set of sounds. And let me play that. And what these are is a very slight tremolo sound. It's very subtle, but it is different than the pluck. And then if I move down further on my sample knob here, I go into the next chains, and here we have ones that are a very big pitch bend. And that way I can pick different types of sounds that I want. If I want a pitch bend, a slight tremolo, or just a pluck. It's very easy to move between different characters of sounds that we want. If we're either writing and editing, or if we just map this to a knob, then you can move the knob while you're playing to get different sounds out of it, to make it a much more realistic and dynamic instrument. So there you have it. That is the toy harp that I have created within Ableton Live. So this will be free by donation download on the site, subaqueousmusic.com. There'll be a link on this video. And we're also going to have just an audio version for other DAWs if you're using Logic or something like that. So you can download these samples and use it within your own sampler of your choice. And feel free to use this in your music. Hopefully it gives you a cool new tool and sound to play with. I think you're really going to enjoy this sample knob here, which was really the fun part in making this instrument. And yeah, if you use it in your sounds, please share your music with me. I'd love to hear it. 
And thanks a lot for checking it out.